be you could have had to have worked harder to convince me of the chances, but I've seen it with my own eyes, and I think it made a, a believer of a lot of us. So we dive into this. Let's not waste any time, as we do have Gambit starting things out on the attacking side, and actually it's Nats to draw first blood as well. Spike down B. A bit of a push through, actually, here. Patty and Cruz trying to double down on this aggression. Defo. Let's hold him back. Nats actually wants to pick it up, and Chronicle with a pinch from the other side here. Sushi boys. Try and find something on the backside, but Recalling him and Scary point. left to try and recover this pistol round. Oh, and a clean start is perfect. That's what the doctor ordered. A little lineup here could be nice. Let's have a look to see if that does find where they need. Spike play. For now, the smokes go in. So once again, more being presented in front of X10 to try and make this even trickier. The three in the post plant comfortable. Heal gets invested as well. So now the two are trying to find the optimal timing. Maybe wait for that smoke to fade, and here's that pixel shot. Remaining. Lovely shot from Defo. It looks like the follow-up probably going to work out quite well. The crossfires have not been dismantled, have not been dismembered, and it will be scary to have to face the music. Yeah, there was even getting it done. No, nope. Shadow's going to make the moves up. Turret going to at least notify those around in that corner. Are, yeah. There is a few here, but you're right. There's already three on the lean, and Patty just gives us a drive-by. <laughs> Great work from him for the good start, and the trade-up is brilliant. I thought Defo was going to have that. I thought that was on the plate, but no. So already a five-play up against three. I've got to be careful here. Again, no teammates towards Dish or his close proximity, at least. Nah, still trying to find something towards Tower. He might actually get decent timing, but Cruz. Let's see, we'll find that one. Chronicle now to potentially pinch Last through here. Standing. Uh, Sushi Boys finds it, and... Fantastic round by X10 with the investment here. Patty can oh, try and the find roar. it. And again, this is the setup. Greet and execute from Gambit. Oh, I thought again we're getting the crest of outside yeah, B main here. Start. Oh, and Straight Patty. away. The backhand is swift, and Defo is going to be reeling from that. Redgar took a little bit of flak damage too. The rest comes out, but Cruz is right there. Shados is the one to tilt it back at least. Oh, I thought that was on the oh, money. Defo's lucky. Very lucky boy, and Nats, does he have any bit of that luck up his sleeve? Because he's about to have a lot of players coming his way. He only gets a one for one, so let's look at what we have here. It's still going on, what a bloody battle between these two. It's unrelenting aggression. Scary needs to be on point though, keep his composure as best he can. This Chronicle now is gonna try and join Defo. 29 HP and a dream for Scary. Alts across the board. This is a really dirty angle to hold it's as well. It's filthy, it's absolutely filthy, and I love what he's up to. The wall goes Lean down, and now the 1v2. He's going to try no and fight way. one. He gets it, but oh. the second evades, and Chronicle brings life back to Gambit here. If they choose to. Drifting back towards Bench here. And again, I see the weaker side of the setup from X10, just by a head count. Again, playing a little deeper now, and this is, again, yep. switching up a little bit. They're just going to kind of play contact on site. See Sushi Boy is tucked up into tower. Again, almost kind of giving them entry at least here. 30 seconds yeah, left. Oh, now that. Out by the lockdown. <laughs> it's one of the brilliant things, I guess, of having. Oh, Bramy boy. But a lot of utility invested into this now. They have to make the most of this one. You can already see that X10 are on the back foot slightly. But the hits still not come through. We're down to 14 seconds. They need to make this land. 10 seconds now. Redgar on the drive-by does well. But Scary lives up to that name, causing problems. Six seconds now. It's only Paddy alive. And I don't think he can really deny this. The spike goes down with one second to spare. And Gambit, that serene style, that diligent approach. Patty's considering it for merely a second. I wonder how long he lingers. I think with the operator here, it's, uh, again, there's no chance of him swapping out a weapon. Very difficult for him to find anything on the way back in. You can see him backing away now, but it's interesting there. Again, yes, it runs so late. We're, we're, we're used to seeing Gambit play that sort of round. Yeah, the, there's the swing, though. Two players tucked by the box. This could be problems. He actually gets away unscathed, and the lean's coming in, and as is that flank. Just gonna send one down. <laughs> it does find scary. Trying to hide inside the smoke here. Lockdown invested as well. It will be dealt with straight away. So no threat to Gambit here. They're able to set up on site. Yeah, that's actually a nice swing out from Sushi Boys. They have a defo. Good find too. Yeah, Fox has got to be careful. He was a little unaware. All that utility and no intention behind it at the end. That tower swing was great from Nats. And once again, Paddy's put in this position. He was a little exactly not hesitant to hit these rotations, are. but now they want to get that operator away. Good luck. Patty wants this. This is baby. He's not going to give it up. But already you're seeing Gambit now starting to exude a little bit of that <laughs> dominance, but he's still putting on a show. 
taking the time. I mean, he switched up to the rifle. He's going for this one. And Nats is a million where Nats is. This. Oh my. Hi, Pog, are you, are, are you kidding me right now? Patty, you could do this already. The flash, he doesn't actually eat it that much. Oh my god, Patty can sit this. He can absolutely sit this. Oh, There's no time left. It. And I don't blame him because Nats, if anything, was the one who wasn't there in time. But Patty could have done some more damage with that. And that has to be a wake up call to Gambit. Foxy and Sushi Boys, right? Everything else relies on pushing, you know, finding out what the setup looks like. And it looks real quiet. It. So instantly you have to be looking to the other side of the map. Both extremities, at least on the top side of the map, have now been pushed out on. You've got to be able to try and extrapolate the information from that because Gambit now, I think, have kind of put it together themselves what as they've this? sliced through the... M what is this round going on? Defo going to lead the charge. Cruz actually could catch across. No way! Defo, so sharp on it. And he still does well. Foxy trying to do some damage, but it's all effective standing. trades for Gambit. Leaving Sushi Boys the last one alive. And a 1v3, Spike going to go down. And he ain't that close by. Gambit just walked through sand, up ropes, walled off spawn, and hit B. Yes, they did. And X10 are like, oh, well, we're, we all push bridge. So, um, okay. A really, really w weird round <laughs> to watch on the minimap there. But a quick response, I think, on the back of Nats finding a little bit of contact in underpass. Mm. Sushi Boys again, we don't know if we find any damage here, but at this point with the round deficit doesn't make an awful lot of difference because it will be saving and Gambit should be yeah, sitting pretty comfortable. Conical will find it. A lot of pressure on one man's shoulders and he doesn't even know it's happening yet. He's got his back to the enemy, not a place to be. The footsteps are surely going to be heard. Patty might be able to get there in time. He is going to at least get one, but a quick trade out as Cruz does get to keep his life trying to sail on forward, but Nats is so happy That's to greet it with the adjustment on the third. Finding so much work for himself. Oh, the timing is nasty. One HP. <laughs> You're lucky to be alive. Comes down to a 2v2, though. Sushi boys will fall. And just one HP in the dream for Foxy. An awful lap. Yeah, okay. Well, he needed to find that one. He didn't. It's 8 3. Door spot, and they're just pressing on it time and time again. Defo off to a quick beginning. Oh, oh, oh. it's brutality no from Defo. Straight away in there, just rips the head off of Sushi Boys. Foxy with a great flash. Oh my, Spike Defo still takes him down. Feels like Gambit can't put a foot wrong. There's Patty, Cruz, and Scary. Still eye. trying to find any success for themselves with Nats. Waiting, poised. Calm, collected, and Baby unnoted. He knows what he's doing. He still gets one, and step by step, they just get worked away at. I love that little attempt with the bait on that sage wall coming up, but Spike, Spike is planted. Planted. Rolling Thunder available for Cruz. That's just him and Patty here on the way back in. Only one member on site again. Gambit adjusting on the back of that ultimate. And there's the commit. Stuff it, there's so much. There's a huge gap to close. Really is, and it's it's going to be quite fast. Patty going to at least step towards it. Shados is there. Defo is there. Gambit looking to maybe reclaim a little bit of that inhuman. Also, Nats looking to stop any further pushes. Spike planted. See here, Defo. Does he get hard cleared here? I think the answer is quite resounding. It's a no. Defo gets away with it. Catches Cruz and now going to work them down to three, trying to keep their backs to wall themselves safe. Oh, Defo, I thought he had another. This man has been just a safe pair of hands, and he's been succeeding in a lot of the fights. The wall going to try and facilitate the cross. That was a little dicey, but it's fine, as Gambit are looking in fine form and a little too <laughs> thick to quit. Foxy is in trouble. Try and find this here. Nope, Sados going to close it out. The defuse comes through. Gambit find their tenth. And again, it's interesting to see he could be up against. There's a bulldog in the hands of Red Guard, but a little armor difference. Oh, Defo okay. just fed himself to the wolves. Flies on in a quick meal. Red Guard though, gonna have to try and back away. He's caught in no man's land, and yeah, this buyer's actually called them off a fair amount. Caught in unpredictable positions and spots they didn't want, and the pace they have to keep this up. You're right, the flank will come into effect eventually, but let's see if they get that spike down uncontested. For now, it does seem as though that's going to be the case, and Foxy's on the case. Shados, Chronicle, Nat, all going to start cresting that corner. Outdone by one, and now the 3v3. The crew's going to have an opportunity to play inside the smoke and have a really good engagement here if anybody does take the rope, but it looks like Gamma going to force their way through on ground level. The wall, actually, Investor is going to cut off Generator here. Batty has to oh, deal with that quickly, this flank. If he can get the timing right, if Sushi Boys can keep the attention. Oh, he just slipped through Shados. Still alive, but only for so long. The force by desperately trying to... Every single time. 
Patty Patty straight away. Look at that. Defo Ruthless. Just, just being the backbone right now of Gambit, catching a couple of these moments and really quelling that early aggression. And oh, Foxy, what? what? How are you so good at adjusting to that? He was in the middle of nowhere. He had no right, and neither does Shados. The flash couldn't have been better. The follow-up does not happen, though. And another bloody battle between these two as Redgar is chomping at the bit just around that corner. You know they know he's there, though. They're clearing this, and they're thinking, Feels like there could be someone on the case. There's that door open. Redgar says hello, and Nats finds Sushi Boys. It's going to be on Scary now, and he's got so much to get through. They jump in the corners. He knows he's pinned in. And Gambit get back on track. The rifles game speak. Oh, Defo's right back to business. What? <laughs> he got the dink. He thought he'd done it. Cruises on 7 HP. Well, I guess they get to another bite run. of the cherry, and Gambit. What is going on in this round? What is, what is happening right now? Now Foxy, <laughs> he's got to hold on to underpass here. Redgar will be able to escape, but the Reds come through. Nullifying that kill that Extend divided. did find. Cosmic Divide goes oh, up. Wow. We've got everything they thrown know. into this round. It's going to be 12 otherwise. It, you, yeah. It's got to be now or it might just be never. Scary going to try and clear a little bit of safety for himself. Give himself a bit of area to play in Monks. And where are they off to? I'm looking at that zip wire. This actually could be insane if this works out. No Foxy. Way. What have you got up your sleeve? Is that a rifle down as well? That could be a nice upgrade because he's only got the Spectre right now. And this could be huge for him. He decides not to do it. He's seen everything. We've seen this before. Glimpses of the past. Remember the Fnatic game. Can he do what he needs to? That's one down. He can clear. He can confirm. He knows where these players are. Brilliant information now relayed. The gap going to close in and time being bought here. They, they, they have nothing in this one. Scary is there. Shados. Wait, what is going on? He needs to get the Diffuser down as he does. And X10 give themselves another round. That flank by Foxy's was fantastic. Beautiful stuff, but everything thrown into... <laughs> so many bodies behind this. Only Sushi Boys elsewhere. And Gambit this time playing a little deeper. Respecting this almost. Fox is ready to enable Patty. Here you can see inside on the X-ray. Not if anything gets detected there, but Patty straight onto site here. Zados will find the opener though, trade it out. Chronicle finds Five two. Down, B. One yeah, this enemy is remaining. looking like 12 is now beckoning. Scary in a 1v4. Gonna oh, get one, are you gonna prove me wrong again? Surely not. Scary, just how much more can you do? Smoke goes in and he edges closer. Redgar is on the other side, but timing is everything. He has to back away. The Steps show get noted. <laughs> yeah. It looks like Defo is very much watching this. Adamant that he will not let go spike. of that. Picks up the spike and now they know he's got to be there. Surely left. they've seen that vanish. Yeah, they have now. Those shots are going to confirm it. 25 seconds. Can he get around towards that A side? Is he going to go for it or does he try and double pump? Let's see what you got, I'm, Scary. I'm looking at the minimap here. Defo hasn't confirmed the spike being taken here. Surely. And again, Gambit can wait. It's a 3v1. I'd rather than play argue safety that should on should yep. lean 10 seconds left. in their favor. Again, they can wait out the spike plant. But he can get into a dirty little post plant, yes. right? Spike like, he's got planted. so much time to play with. He doesn't necessarily know that, so I wonder how far he explores. But he has plenty of time to try and do something, but they're staying as a pack. All three players together. Scary on the other side of this corner. Here's one, takes one, and tries to back away. That's They're going to try and close the gap, though. They want to get as close as they can to the Scary on the swing. Oh, oh. He gave it everything he had. Three kills, but Redgar prevails. And it'll be 12 on the board for Gambit. You can't say that X10 aren't trying. Now they get one that comes down to just one left standard. Gambit do now have map point in the pocket. Now they just need to go across the line. Defo, can he keep that composure that has resonated so well with him? Look at everything being poured at this man, and he still stands. Away, oh, Defo. he refuses to relent. Defo standing feet. up to the test this time. Finding that balance. He's been over aggressive, and this time it's looked just right. But these boys have clutched out so many times before, so I feel like I can't say it yet until the final man falls. It's down to Scary again. A 1v4 presented, and only a Spectre by the side. And sadly, it looks like it's done for.